Aside from the question of who he has chosen, the fact that the president-elect started with top White House staff means he's not making the transition mistake made by President Bill Clinton. The Clinton transition was um, rocky. D.D. Myers, now a CBS News consultant, was President Clinton's first press secretary, but she didn't get that job until seven weeks after the election, in late December. Clinton's late choices, she recalls, hurt his ability to govern day one. Among other problems, his first two choices for attorney general went down in flames. I think that we came out of the blocks, you know, a less well-oiled machine uh, than we might have been. And that, that, hurt the, uh, that hurt the new president's image. This is why historians say in presidential transitions, speed matters. A president-elect gets 77 and a half days, and that includes Thanksgiving and Christmas and, and, and New Year's. Uh, he can't waste any time. Who had a good transition? Ronald Reagan gets credit for moving quickly, and so does the current president, George W. Bush, who used that time during the 2000 election controversy to select his staff. Given the limited amount of time he had, he did pretty well. He got his White House and his cabinet in shape. During the campaign, then-Senator Obama was teased relentlessly by John McCain for measuring the drapes of the White House. Now it's clear, just 48 hours after the election, Mr. Obama was indeed plotting who might work there. Katie? Okay.